Hello everyone. Today I would like you to introduce you another member of the flu family, which you probably already know. They are the recorders. Here they are. Ta -da! Wait a minute. You only know one recorder, right? Which is probably this one. You've been playing that when you were in year three. And that one, or this one we call soprano recorder. Now, let me introduce you a smaller one of the same family. This one. We are calling this sopranino recorder. Let's look at the size. Soprano, sopranino. The soprano recorder is in the key of C, which means if you press every finger, that's the C. Now on the other hand, sopranino recorder is in the key of F, which means if I press every finger, oh now it's smaller so I have to look at it. You, you can see my hand are all next to each other now. My, all my fingers. And this is in the key of F, so this is an F. Now you can compare the fingerings. Look at my finger. This is a little bit far apart, you see? Now, the next one is called an alto. It's slightly bigger, and it's actually more widely used in, in the professionals or in the old time. In the old time, this one is called a flute as well. And the flute that you are playing is called transverse flute or the side blown flute. Or in the old day we call it traverso. Um, there is another video that I introduce you what is the traverso. But this one, if you look at the old music, they call this flute. Now this one I made myself from Sherry Wu when I learned how to make flute. Let's try the sound of the three. Now let's try the tiny size recorder. It's called a sopranino. It has a very high voice. Now let's play the soprano recorder, the one that you are familiar with. Now, let's try the sound of the outer flute. First of all, before I play, you can see that my fingers are really apart and it's quite difficult for me to, to play this as well. Is this the song today is called O MacDonald? Let's start working. What is the first note? Let's read in the notes first. Again, we start off with the five line staff, and if the notes are in lines, you think of this sentence every good boy does fine. Or if the notes is in the space, we go F A C E. So the first note is in the line or in the space. Aha! It's in the space. So you go with F A 
C, E, and it's the first space, so the first note is an E. By the way, since this song is in B flat key, every B or every E flat are either B flat or E flat. Um, sometimes I might omit that, but be sure that every note are has flat on B or E. All right, let's look at the first note. So F, A, C, E. The first note is an E flat. So there are three E flat. The fourth note is every good boy. It's the B flat. Next one is one level up. Here, F, A, C is a C and then a B flat. So basically there are E flat, E flat, E flat, B flat, C, C, B flat. Let's try playing that. Can you play along with this? All right. Next note. What is that? It's the top note under five line staff. Basically, it's right here. If you are imagine these are the lines and it's right here is the G. And then the next note is the top line is an F. And then the next note is in the top space. It's an E. So G, G, F, F, E flat. Basically, we will, we will have to play it twice. Let's try it. I will slow down a little bit. One, two, three, four. Can you follow? Let's move on. Next note, there are only two notes, B flat and E flat, and we play it twice. Let's try that. One, two, three. Can you follow this? And the rest are the same as the beginning. Hmm, this song is not so hard. Shall we try the entire song? Hmm. So I will try to play slowly. Go ahead and play along. One and two and three and four and...
Next, it's your turn to play with the backing track. I hope it's fun. I hope you enjoy learning the flute and a little bit of a flute history. See you next time. Goodbye for now. That boat is called Long Tail Boat. It's quite noisy. And I'm glad there are some people on the boat. And in front of me is Temple of the Dawn, or we call Wat Arun. In front of Jaupiyar River.